I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question to find maximum revenue from demand function. P of x equals to minus 4x plus 12 is the demand function of an item where x is the number of items sold in thousands. Determine the revenue function, the maximum revenue in thousands of dollars. Now what is revenue? Revenue is items sold into demand, right? So revenue function, we can write this as R of X is equals to X times demand function, right? So that will be X times minus 4X plus 12. So that is the revenue action, right? So let me write it very clearly here. Then we will do the second part. So first part is the revenue function, which is R of X is equals to let me expand this. It will be minus 4x square plus 12x. So that is the revenue function. Now the part 2 for this is the maximum revenue in thousands of dollars. Now x is in thousands, right? So, so this revenue will be in thousands of dollars. Now we can adopt different methods. I will use partial factoring to find the answer. So in partial factoring, we'll just factor these two terms and we have minus 4x as common. So we're left with x minus 3. Now in these two, we have x intercepts at 0 and at plus 3. So these are the two x intercepts. If you look at it, I mean, if I have to sketch it here, I can sketch it kind of like this. It has x intercepts at 0 that is the first one and the second one is at 3 right now since it is negative it is going to go in this fashion correct let's go like this okay so what we see here is that we have two x intercepts and these are at x equals to 0 and at x equals to plus 3 the average of these two will give us axis of symmetry, correct? So the average here is axis of symmetry, which is between 0 and 3. So axis will be at x equals to average of these two values, that is 0 plus 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. So this is at 1.5. So re revenue will be how much? The maximum revenue will be R of 1.5 which is equal to we can replace x with 1.5 and find our answer right so this is minus 4 times 1.5 is 4 times 5 is 22 4 times 1 is 4 and 2 6 minus 6 times 1.5 so one and a half times 6 which gives us a revenue of this is minus 6 1.5 minus 3 so that gives us plus one and a half times will be 9 right so 9 so it is nine thousand dollars is the revenue so using the two x intercepts finding the axial symmetry we know vertex always lies on the axial symmetry placing that value we get the maximum possible revenue for this demand function in thousands of dollars, right? So that is our answer. That is dollar nine thousand. I hope that helps. Thank you.